My main assembly is beginning to feel slower to open and use, so I have been tasked with simplifying the more complex subassemblies by saving them as part files containing just the outer geometry. Fortunately, SolidWorks has the tools to create this part for me rather than requiring me to draw up the geometry myself, saving precious time. For the next couple of minutes, I'll be showing you how to do this and touch on a couple of other related tools. First, We'll use the assembly visualization tool to find the subassemblies that are taking the most time to rebuild. We'll use the performance analysis tab to give us a very visual performance evaluation for our assemblies. And here we see this subassembly causes over 70% of the rebuild time. Let's open this assembly at the top here and I'm going to use the save as command so that I can save it as a part. Now I have a couple of options. I can select specific components to include in the new part as bodies, or I can choose to include all the parts. However, I am interested in just saving the exterior surfaces. We will also need to click on this checkbox because keeping those geometry references will make replacing the old subassembly with this new part easier. Let's take a look at this part we just made. If I section it to take a look inside, I'll see none of the internal mechanisms of any of those parts on the subassembly. This cuts down on the complexity of the part, but it would also be useful if I sent this part to another company for use in their model without giving up proprietary information contained in my assembly. Now let's verify that our rebuild time has been reduced. I'm going to replace my subassembly with the corresponding part, and note how I don't have to replace any mates. And wow, our rebuild time is orders of magnitude lower. And that's it. My most complex subassembly is now simplified to a part, and the top level assembly is measurably faster. When we do this and couple it with using speed packs or opening the assembly in lightweight or even large design review modes, we will spend far less time waiting on our assembly and more time innovating. If you want to learn about these tools beyond what we share in many of the videos on our YouTube channel, then go to our website at GoEngineer.com for access to our training courses and more from your number one online technical resource. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like the video and go ahead and subscribe for more tips like this. And please leave a comment if there is another topic you'd like for us to cover in a future video. Bye for now.